DocuWay has developed a solution for invoice processing based on our vast experience building accounts payable solutions over the past 30 years. The DocuWare Kinetic solution for invoice processing will help accounting departments streamline their invoice processing. Today I will show you how invoices will follow different workflow paths within their life cycle. Two examples will represent the perfect world where the invoices fall into either a three-way match or a quick match. The third example will show a more manual approval process. Quick match is used for a repetitive cost, such as a coffee supplier. It processes the invoice against a pre-approved vendor list and checks for a predefined dollar amount limit. Whenever the criteria matches, the invoice moves directly to completion. A three-way match takes control of processing when there is an existing purchase order and some proof of delivery already on file. When the workflow successfully matches the vendor's name and the amount between the invoice and the other documents, it moves the invoice directly through the workflow to the final stage. Now, we know that these matching scenarios will not cover all invoices. In the real world, some will fall outside of the quick match or three-way match. These will be automatically directed to the appropriate validators and approvers by workflow processes. Let's take a look at how it works. Here at DocuWare, we have receipts and new invoices. These are brought in by any of several methods. They could have either been introduced from a scanner, or saved from an email, or simply dragged and dropped into an inbox. Notice the color-coded indicators. At the start of processing, DocuWare's intelligent indexing technology has read each of these documents to first recognize it. Have I seen this document before? And, if so, extract the accounts payable related content from the invoice to index it. Green indicates a document was successfully recognized and indexed. Amber would indicate there were some questionable results, and red indicates that the document is not recognized. Perhaps it's from a new vendor we don't currently have in our system. Let's take a look at how that affects our first invoice, WB Mason. This is a repetitive cost, so the vendor is pre-approved with a specific dollar value threshold set. Once I initiate the store process, we see the intelligent indexing results. If we look at the invoice, it has a shadow over the values that were selected for indexing. If I put my cursor in a field on the left side, let's say invoice number, a yellow highlight appears to draw my eye directly to the location on the document. Intelligent indexing has a self-learning capability. By correcting or adding index information during the store process, the system learns how to interpret invoices in the future. Typically, by the third time an invoice is processed, intelligent indexing classifies the invoice as green. So once the invoice is stored, the workflow takes over. It looks up the vendor and identifies it as pre-approved, and then the workflow drives the invoice to completion with no validation or manual approvals necessary. All we need to do is click Confirm to write a booking record transaction and wait for the payment confirmation. Looking at my list tab, accounting booking records will display the current file waiting to be processed, either manually or using a scheduled event. Many of today's more popular systems, such as QuickBooks, Sage, Great Plains, and others, support reading these files. By importing the records, you automatically see them in your ERP and can continue processing there. Once we have issued payment, we enter the payment information and confirm to complete the process for this vendor. Let's go back to the inbox now and store the invoice from US Steel. DocuWare found that there are other documents related to this invoice, specifically there is a purchase order and a packing slip. Since the total amount of the invoice matches the remaining amount on the purchase order, the three-way match is made, indicating that we have everything we need to pay this invoice. That's why it goes directly to the book and pay workflow. 
Notice that the open purchase order in our list has been cleared. The corresponding invoice has now been stored. At this point, if we wanted to review the documents that made up this three-way match, there is a quick way to retrieve them. Using the sidebar menu, I simply click on the three-way match link under Related, and the document list is shown. Now these documents can be opened for review. Satisfied after the three-way match, I will confirm the completion task and send the invoice to be paid. Once we have issued the payment, we can enter the payment information on this transaction and click confirm to complete the process for the vendor. And just like we saw with the quick match, the three-way match results in DocuWare creating a booking record that contains all transaction data needed to import these records into your AP system. Unfortunately, the world isn't always perfect. In some cases, invoices do not always refer to a purchase order, sometimes packing slips are not always available, or the invoice is simply not correct. Now we will see how DocuWare helps you in these situations as well. Let's store the invoice from Phone Wizard. The first step in the process for these invoices is to validate them by checking their details. This validation was not necessary for the quick match because the validation came from the vendor definition, nor was it necessary for the three-way match due to the presence of a purchase order and proof of delivery. Peggy has different options available to her in this step. She can first correct the information or request a new invoice or reject the invoice or simply end the process altogether. In this case, Peggy's determined that the information is correct as displayed, so she will simply click confirm. If she were to have selected any of the other options, request a new one, reject or end, she would have been prompted for a reason, and then the DocuWare workflow would automatically send an email to that vendor. Now that the invoice details have been checked, it will move on to the next step. This is where we need to assign the invoice to the appropriate cost center. If this invoice were to be assigned to a single cost center with only one responsible cost center manager, Peggy would simply use the cost center manager drop down select the appropriate cost center and click confirm. That would send the invoice off to a single manager for approval. But the phone wizard invoice is a little different. The responsibility for this invoice is shared between multiple cost center managers. For this use case, we provide the ability to GL code an invoice across multiple cost centers. By following the GL coding link, I can easily identify different cost centers and assign the appropriate portion of the total invoice amount. I'll assign the first $400 to cost center 10001 and general administration, and then the remainder to 10002 and management. Notice when I assigned a portion of the total value in the first line, the unassigned amount is automatically carried to the next line and I can create as many as I need until the entire amount of the invoice has been assigned. The invoice now moves on to the approval process. Within this process, the task associated with approving this invoice is no longer in Peggy's hands. The cost center manager for general administration is Elizabeth Cash. When Elizabeth logs in, she sees she has an outstanding task. It is her portion of the phone wizard invoice. Before approving it, she will open it and review the split to ensure she has been assigned the correct portion. When she is confident that it is correct, she can now confirm the split. It is worth mentioning here that in the approval process, there is also a dollar limit threshold in place. In the case of Elizabeth, it's set to $1,000. So this invoice will not require further approvals. However, if it exceeds her threshold, after her approval, a new task would be spawned and automatically assigned to the next level approver. What about the portion for cost center two? The manager for this cost center is Peter King. When he logs in, he sees his open split check task for his portion of the phone wizard invoice. With DocuWare's automated stamps, he immediately recognizes the approval for Elizabeth's portion of the phone wizard invoice, and he can approve the remaining portion for his cost center. 
If anyone in the approval process is traveling or simply away from their computer, DocuWare's mobile application allows for invoice approval on the go via a smart device. So there is never a reason to delay any of these processes. The workflows have now successfully completed the approval process. Now it's time to book and pay this invoice. We are now back at Peggy Jenkins. We have validated the data, gathered the required approvals, and verified that the entire invoice amount has been approved. So, just like the U.S. Steel invoice with a three-way match, and the W.B. Mason invoice with the quick match, we are now ready to finish processing this invoice. Now at the completion task, Peggy selects the task and clicks confirm to create a booking record for this one as well. If we open our list tab, we can examine the booking record file that was created. It's a CSV that has a transaction record for each invoice that has completed the process. Once again, we can add payment information and then confirm that they have been paid. Much of the process of indexing and storing these documents is not only for the approval process. We also do it to make it simple to locate these documents in the future. To accomplish this, the user has search dialogues available. These dialogues can be tailored to meet their specific needs. Perhaps a limited field list is appropriate for some users, while a more general list is right for others. Either way, by submitting a search, DocuWare will return a list of all documents that meet that specific criteria. For example, to see all of the invoices I process today, I simply run a search on all documents stored on today. Let's look back at the processes we just saw. Three invoices were brought into the DocuWare system, whether via scanner, email, manual import process, or any of the various ways documents can be introduced into DocuWare. We saw one approved by quick match and one approved by three-way match. When neither of the automated match processes control the invoice, we sent them to the appropriate cost centers for approval. Automated workflows routed them to the appropriate approvers based on their cost center assignments and or their personal approval limits. We automatically created a booking transaction for each that fed into an ERP system, and we easily located invoices by entering an index value into a search dialog. Now the interesting part. What we just saw can be configured and in production in a matter of days. When shall we get started?